hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's new video as you can tell by the title i am going to be filming every shoe in my closet you know i have been on this trend recently where i just film everything in group so i did every pair of jeans that i own my jewelry collection maybe so in today's video i'm just going to go through all the shoes that i own i'm going to try them all on for you i'm going to talk about the size the quality why i like them why you need them and i'm going to link everything down below as always so without further ado let's get into the video i know the first thing you thought was wow your hair is down and don't be fooled i washed it yesterday and then slept and this is what it looks like. I want to start off with some flats. First things first, I have a pair of pointed toe flats from Amazon. And these are Amazon Essentials. They are this nude color. They have like a little tongue on them and they are suede. They're super comfortable. They definitely need some breaking in. And they are a size 7. I like just how neutral these are. I mean, you could honestly wear them with anything. Um, jeans, a skirt, dress pants, whatever. And they would go really, really nicely. So that's why I picked these up and they were super cheap. So the next pair of shoes, these have seen a lot of love. I have worn these every single day to work when I was teaching. They are beat up, so please don't judge. They are these Sperry topsider loafers and they are gold metallic and they are literally so comfortable they did not hurt my feet one time the material is very very soft and they just fit so nicely and they look so good with anything because they're gold so they can go with black or brown they can go with blue they can go with pink and they're just super preppy i will definitely be buying the same pair again at some point or a different color i've already looked at every color that they have they have like brown and nude and pink and um navy these you guys i've talked about these before these are the born footwear loafer they're expensive i'm just gonna tell you that right now they're like a hundred dollars i think they are so comfortable there's the leather is so soft they fit so good you need to size down in them though i will say because leather stretches so when i was buying mine the seven was like kind of big and the six and a half was kind of tight and he was like i would get the six and a half because they stretch so much these are amazing i got them in a six and a half they are going to last me a very long time i've worn them a lot already and they look really good still i want to move on to heels i don't really wear them <laughs> that's a sad thing but when i do i think that i have a really good collection i wouldn't really need to like go out and buy a new pair i think that i have enough that i could find something to match so the first pair that i want to talk about these are my favorite ones out of all of them i i mean are you kidding me are you kidding me look at this look at that it's adorable. It is so cute. Look at the strap. Look at the heel height. And then there's an ankle strap. Done. Are you kidding? I love these. I'm obsessed with these. I wish that I got to wear them every single day. I don't like do anything that I can wear them every single day. Um, these are a size six and a half. I always size down in heels because your foot is like obviously pushed forward. These are amazing. Leopard is so in right now. You need to go pick these up. They're from Target right now. Go to the link in the description and buy them now these are from target as well they're just black like heels same height very similar height strappy in the front and around the ankle they are size six and a half they're very comfortable because they have a little platform on the bottom and they 
are really good for a long wear so if you're gonna be in heels for like hours and standing for hours that's when i wore these i wore them to andrew's holiday party for his work it was in new york city and we were at the museum of natural history sorry if i'm like kind of weird right now it is so early in the morning it's 8 15 a.m i have just gotten up and i was like oh i have some time i might as well sit down and film this video these are my favorite pair of casual heels they are so cute look at them they're like hi i just walked right out of that 70s show and i'm here to be kelso from that 70s show i love these that's been my vibe i've said it a million times i want to look like i walked out of that 70s show they are very very comfortable these are from target as well a lot of my shoes are from target that's a life hack go to target to buy shoes because they're affordable and they are comfortable and they are really good quality i've had these for a couple of years and i've worn them a bunch this buckle is not a working buckle it's just for show obviously it has a zipper on the inside so this pair of heels i saw on my instagram does anybody else have a million instagram ads a day hi me do they always get you me yes so these are steve madden they have three straps they're like this taupey brown greenish color they are super comfortable the straps are very very stretchy they're size six and a half they have a really cute ankle strap which i love and then they have zippers in the back which i also love when i put on heels it's really not ideal for me to sit there and buckle a buckle so when it comes with a, a zipper in the back i love that it just makes it so much easier for me to put them on every single time this is like my vibe obviously the chunky heel because it is just so easy to walk in these technically don't even look like a heel but they are my leopard sneakers and believe it or not i love these so much that i went out and i bought another color these are from nordstrom rack they are a size seven they are not a big heel they only go to here so it's very small i know that there are some sneakers and the heel is like super big this is not the case at all they're so easy to walk in they're so comfortable you can wear them for a long period of time which is what i love about them they have this super cute slit in the side as well so love these katie and melanie they love them so much that they went and bought their own pairs they also come in black and in nude so I went and since it was free shipping for orders over like 150 we all ordered them together and I got the nude ones. I will insert a picture right here of them because I don't have them. They're actually still at Katie's house. I haven't like seen her yet. We're moving on to sneakers. So for my sneakers, you will see that um, my vibe is very gray. <laughs> First pair. Steve Madden platforms. I love these. They're size six and a half. They are so comfortable. They do need some breaking in, so just be aware. They have this cute detail on the back. I wear them a lot with jeans and leggings because they go perfect with that. Next pair is also Steve Madden. These are also gray sneakers. They have a tie and just a little tongue on them. They have a mesh detailing in the front that looks like that and then they have a small platform they're a little heavy these are a size six and a half as well i don't know if i would size down in in their shoes i just did for some reason um and they fit really well sometimes i like my sneakers to fit a little bit more snug now moving on to nmds so i have two pairs of nmds these ones are trashed because i wear them to the golf course but they were very very loved when i first bought them they are gray on the top and then they have this awesome like neon orange color on the underside and they're just gray all over they have this little orange stitching on the side as well and then on the back they just had this little nmd tag and these are a size six and a half you need to size down in adidas they run very very large 
so I always size down at least half a size sometimes I know of people that size down a full size so just beware when you are ordering from their website or from anybody that carries Adidas that if you are buying their products you need to size down because they do run big they have the knit at the top so it's super stretchy that is also why you need to size down. If they are knit on the top, they will be more stretchy than a normal sneaker. These NMDs are so awesome. I love these NMDs. I saw these one time on the website and I was like, Andrew, I need these. And then he bought them for me for Christmas. These are camo NMDs. They are size six and a half. They have the orange detail on the bottom. And then the orange little strap on the back here and it's like a clear plastic piece that holds that in and it says NMD across the bottom I just love the camo on these don't you guys it comes in two colors so it comes in white camo and it comes in like this grayish camo I personally like the dark one just because I knew that these were gonna get kind of dirty they're not nearly as stretchy as the other NMDs that I have so if you are thinking about sizing down a full size I probably wouldn't all right we're getting to the end here so last pair of sneakers are my APL APL stands for athletic propulsion labs these are just black all black black soles black everything these are size 7. I like my sneakers a little bit bigger when I'm working out these are my workout sneakers they are so worn out I am actually in the market for a new pair I've been looking around at a lot of places trying to figure out which ones I want to go with I ordered a couple pairs they're coming today and I'm hoping that I will have a new pair of sneakers just because I need them but these served me really well they're so comfortable they're super light they are really supportive I like how they're all black that is totally something that I am into I normally didn't wear all black for working out um but these were great they did a really nice job so i might go with apl again boots i have three pairs of boots to show you guys i want to start off with my uggs <laughs> i love uggs you guys i don't know what it is about them these are super beat up i have worn these over and over again a million times they are so comfortable i found them at tj maxx for like a hundred dollars they kind of look like moon boots but they have this like working strap on them that is really really comfortable and makes them just fit nice and snug around your ankle they are this turquoise but like gray they're like a gray turquoise color i don't even know but they have the little ug symbol on the bottom obviously and then the inside it's this really soft like sherpa material it's not like the normal ug material it's very um sherpa e i guess you could say i like it i have these in a size 7 i will try to find these but since i got them at tj maxx i have a feeling i'm not going to be able to they are probably really old um even prior to me buying them which was like three or four years ago next are the infamous bean boot these are the just typical bean boot duck boot that you can find at ll bean they are size 7, although I would recommend sizing down half a size. I have realized that these are, they're not big on me, but they could be a little bit more snug. They are so comfortable. Mine are lined. You can get them unlined. They're like $100 less if you get them unlined. But I would recommend getting them lined just because they are so much warmer if you just get them with the lining in them. And I've had these forever, so they have lasted me such a long time and they are so comfortable. I wear them obviously when it snows, when it rains. Since I live in New England, it is very important for me to have a good pair of boots to keep me um, warm in the winter. So these are definitely ones that I get the job done. Andrew even has these, he loves them as well. We rave about them all the time. Pick yourself up a pair of these before they sell out because it happens every winter. L.O. Bean sells out of them, um, especially right before Christmas. So, Last pair of shoes. These are, I have a picture of me wearing these. I'm going to insert it here. Knee high or over the knee suede boots. These are from Payless, I think. They're size 7. They have this tie in the back. Super cute. They are flat. They do not have any heel really at all. But that is what I like about them is they stay up, which is important. I know some of my friends have ones that like they stretch up over your knee. 
and they don't stay like these stay you can especially because you can tie them too in the front or in the back and tighten them if you need to but they stay on their own they're really really good um i like these a lot i want to say that they were very very affordable but i'm not entirely sure i would go and check their website after i link them uh payless uh, is it payless See, they're Payless or Famous Footwear, I want to say. But yes, I love these. So great. Highly recommend. All right, you guys. So that is the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed. I really like showing you all of my shoes. I wanted to do this one for a while because I think it would be helpful for some of you guys, especially because we are getting into the winter season. And a lot of these things can be used for fall slash winter, the colder month. Thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!